Good evening, everyone. How are you guys doing? I guess I'm doing all right. Um, I've had a really shitty week, honestly, all week. And a couple of days ago, I, I got home finally yesterday afternoon or evening somewhere in there, and was looking around YouTube. And of course, saw a video by one of my subscriptions. I subscribed to quite a few people, and I think it was the Fate Wolf, and she had married a video. Um, or at least I thought by William Cardno, and I thought he was doing a cover, and I was watching a cover, and I thought, oh, well, she must have just liked it, and here I am watching it, right? And then I got the hint, right, that this was some sort of, like, tribute video, and I I just knew, you know, I just knew what was going on, you know, and it was a pretty shitty feeling, to be honest. Uh, and then I saw, of course, the many other videos. Um, I actually went to search his name on YouTube and saw that there were many other videos that this was news that people had already known. This is something people had already known about, and I was a little bit late. And wow, it, you know, it was shitty enough because I did consider William a friend. And, and not only a friend, William was honestly one of my favorite people and not on YouTube anywhere he was just one of my favorite human beings so last night you know it, it sucks enough as it is once I'm finding out everything that had happened and you know, I see this video that I will link below, and there's no need at this point to even to even comment on the video because it is it's gotten the kind of recognition it deserves already. But I want to address this video at first, slightly to you, Greg. I mean, I want you to watch it. Um, because I, I do want you to understand a few things, so I do want you to watch this. I don't care if you get anything out of it, but I, I would like to know that you at least took the time to watch the video. That's really all I ask. I want to start by saying, you know, if you want to watch the video I'm linking, fine. I'm sure you've probably already seen it if you're subscribed to my channel. I want to start by saying, Greg, to you personally, that William saw you coming. He, he definitely saw you coming, and I will explain what I mean. Now, a lot of you know me here on YouTube as an angry fucking guy, and I am, in a lot of ways, an angry guy. You know, when someone, you know, rubs me the wrong way, I like to cuss at them and yell, and it actually does, you know, make me feel a little bit better about the fact that I had to listen to them at all. You know, I, I get to tell you to fuck off, go fuck yourself, and yell. I get to yell. And believe me, last night when I saw Greg's video, I wanted to do just that. I, I mean, I was buzzing around my computer area like a fucking hornet and just looking for a, a target, you know, I mean, crazy mad, I stayed up like an extra couple hours last night, I was so fucking mad and upset by that video, um, and the, the funniest fucking thing really, really did, really did happen is, what happened when I saw your video and I, I found myself in that fucking, sorry, excuse me, and yeah, I'm, I'm going to get emotional <laughs> during this video. I've tried to record it without that happening. Um, forget about it. It's not going down. So deal with the, that, okay? <laughs> but anyway, I, I'm, I'm sitting there last night, and I'm fucking furious last night, you know. And I wanted to turn on my camera and, and look at Greg and fuck you, you're fat this, and fuck you, this and that, and on and on, and, and just, you know, it was one of those things where if, if you were there, I would have just knocked you out. I would have just knocked your old fucking big tubby ass out right then and there. And, and then I realized, I it, it reminded me of something that William had actually 
helped me understand a couple, I want to say about, at this point it was probably about two years ago, we were chatting and he said um, something about how I was so angry in a video, I don't even know what video it was and this and that, and I said, yeah, I was angry and I was cussing and yeah, 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 yeah. And he said, well, don't you think you, you kind of let that own you a little bit? And, and, and you know, I, I was on the defensive at the time, and I said, what do you mean, own me? No, no, that's not what happened. I was angry at somebody, and I had a good goddamn reason to be angry with that fucking person. I had a, a good goddamn reason to be mad. So I expressed it. And he said, yeah, but what good is it if you're so angry that you lose control over yourself? then what good is, I, you know, because I had said, anger is good, anger is a tool that we can use, and I gave him that speech, right, and William said to me, he said, but not if it controls you, then it is no good, because, you know, nothing that seizes control of your mind is ever good, and he said, let me give you an example, so we're chatting, and he says to me, I'll never, this to me was like something that I'll always remember about Will, and it pertains so much to how I felt Yesterday, I figured I'd share it. So here it is. So at that point, Will says to me, okay, imagine for, he, he basically said, we're going to role play, right? And I said, okay, let's role play. He said, you're going to be a homophobe. And I said, no, 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 no. I said, I don't want to do that. He said, you're going to be a homophobe and you're going to gay bash me. And you're going to call me faggot and homo and queer, whatever you can think of. And you're going to attack me with that. All right, when I give you the cue. And I remember I felt so fucking uncomfortable. I was like, I don't like even playing this part. He goes, dude, trust me. It's for, we're experimenting. Just do it. Right. So I said, okay. So I start in on him in the stick ham chat. And I say, all right, you're a fag. And yay, what up, faggot? And on and on and on. And I was playing the part of this gay basher, which I just remember was so fucking uncomfortable for me. And, and he, and he, and he had said something to effect he used the word in a way to like indicate to me that he was proud of being that, that he was proud of being who he was. And he said, there you go. Now there's nothing you can do to hurt me, right, in that situation. I said, yeah, there is. I can continue calling you names and, and doing that. He said, yeah, but you look like a fucking idiot. You can continue doing that, but you look like a, a fucking idiot. He said, I've taken your stick away, right? If you were poking me, he said, you know, if you were poking me with a stick, I've got it now. He said, if someone were jabbing you with a stick and, and they wouldn't leave you alone and they were just poking you and poking you and fucking with you and they wouldn't stop, what would you do? And I said, well, I'd take that stick from him and I'd fucking jam it up there and he'd stop me. He just interrupted me. He said, whoa, stop. Why wouldn't you just stop right there? And I go, stop where? He said, where you had the stick. You solved the problem. Don't you see that? Don't you see you've won? Don't you see that you have the stick now? And you've won and you don't need to hit them and stab them with it and shove it up their ass and whatnot. You can just take it with you. Right? Because you don't want to become what they are. When you start poking them, then, well, you, you're, you're them now. You are doing what they started doing in, in the first place. So you just take that with you and you walk off and you're better. Right? And the anger doesn't have control of you, but you do have control of the situation. And as simple as that might sound, I had never really given it that much thought. To me, anger could be a spur of the moment, senseless, vile, and just do what you will with that emotion because it is justified in a lot of situations. Like the situation I was in last night watching... Greg's video. And that was the only thing, thinking about that, that was the only thing that kept me from turning on my camera was to, was what, Will, what William had told me. Now, you're not going to get, you're not going to get away <laughs> without a fuck you, right? Because that's somebody that was very important. You know, not only to me personally, but to a lot of people. And that's what made me 
the happiest, honestly, is that when I turned on, or when I, when I was checking YouTube, so many people that I didn't even know knew William, and they were talking to him, and they wanted to say something positive about this guy, that I had these, you know, th th such high regard for, I mean, he was just a great human being, and I wasn't just a, a part of a minority of people that happened to notice that, it was real, whatever I saw in him was really there, because so many other people saw it too. And that is what I think I'm going to do with your video, Greg. Uh, I think I'm just going to take your stick and I'm going to walk away. But I do want you to know, like I said before, that Will saw you coming. He saw you coming. He knew that there were people out there like you. And that there wasn't much that we could do to change who you were. But we have to take control of our own situation. How we deal with you small people. And if you, Greg, you feel that you can talk to people this way. You feel that this is what was important. That this person is no longer alive. And what was important to you... was to tell us that he knew the truth now, like he knew what you did. I wonder how many videos, honestly, would be made if you were gone. I, If I had to guess, I'd say not very fucking many. Will saw you coming. And I'm not surprised. Because for a guy so small, as small as he was, he's so much bigger than you. And you are so fucking small for such a big guy. But, like I said, <clears throat> you're not getting away without a fuck you from me directly to you. Fuck you. Honestly. And like Christopher Hitchens said when Jerry Falwell died, I think it's a goddamn pity that there is no hell for you to go to. Horrible video for you guys today, but uh, sorry, I could not let that go. Anyway, peace.